Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. Today I am working on a new type tumbler from Hog. This is a 20 ounce straw blur. It has the sliding top and then it has this really unique screw on bottom that is also a storage area for a collapsible stainless steel straw. And the opening is made special just to fit the straw down in there. It has the um, rubber inside so that it's soft on top and bottom and you just fold it back up when you're finished with it, put it inside there, and then you can put the screw on bottom back onto the tumbler until you're ready to use the straw again. It also comes with a cleaning brush, which I'll show you at the end of the video. So I've already prepped my cup with um, black spray paint, and I am using Eileen's tack it over and over, a uh, one-to-one -one ratio with water, and I am brushing it onto the surface of the tumbler, and then I'm going back over it until I get a smooth surface, and then I also did a second layer of the tack it. And now I am putting on some mica powder on top of the tack it, which is Magic Moon Mica. The color that I'm using is called Wicked, and it is a chameleon color. So it actually looks kind of like a deep red in the package, but when you brush it on, it uh, kind of has like a green blue cast to it. And then once I get this put on, I'm going to also add a layer of uh, Magic Moon Let It Snow Mica, and uh, it is a white with a kind of a gold look to it. So I just wanted to get several different colors uh, for the base, and um, they recommend that you do start with a black base coat before you put these chameleon micas on there. And this right here is the Let It Snow. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to brush it onto the surface of the tumbler, brush it in, just blending it in, making sure it's all smooth. And then next, I will be using um, the Luster Pigments from Resin Art. And I've mixed them in with some pouring medium. I've got mermaid, myrtle green, salted caramel, and tiger's eye. And I'm just putting a little bit of each color in uh, these little silicone bowls. And I mixed it with the pouring medium. And I also used a little bit of Mad Oil's Silver Fin Blue. And now I'm going to just paint my design directly onto the tumbler, just using a brush. And what I want to do is make peacock feathers. And I don't want to completely cover up my base um, chameleon colors. I want that to show through those um, little feather branches that make up the peacock feather. But I do want to make sure where I do put this um, luster pigment that it doesn't show the colors underneath. Just going to continue to paint the design directly onto the tumbler and then make those little feathery looking 
uh, branches that surrounds the center of the peacock feather all the way down the cup. Sorry, I had to kind of get off screen here so that I could see what I was doing. But I alternated my colors um, going down the cup, but I still allowed uh, in between for you to see that uh, chameleon background of the mica that I painted onto the tumbler as a base. Just going to keep making those little feathery looking runs with the different colors. Build up around the top of the peacock feather. And then once I have this done, I'm going to let it set and dry and then come back and using diamond glaze, I'm going to add glitter. Uh, different shades of uh, teal, green, blue, and some um, copper. And I've already started here adding the glitter, as you can see there. And the reason why I like to use the diamond glaze is because it's very fast drying. Um, I can use the tip to kind of put the the um, diamond glaze where I want it and then immediately add my glitter. I've already got this one side um, started. And I'm going to start right here and whenever it, if it does run a little bit I can always wipe it away and um, control where my glitter is going. I have my catch paper beneath I did not change my catch paper out for the glitter. I just, once I was finished, um, I put all of that that was uh, excess and into what I call a dump bucket. And it will make a unique uh, glitter color for a special project. The glitter that I'm using um, was all purchased from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And like I said, it's all in the colors of teal, turquoise, uh, green, light blue, and um, uh, some copper. Just to give it a little bit of uh, offset color with all of that blue and teal in there. I just kept going around until I had the glitter everywhere I wanted it. And then on the part of the design where I just did those different colors of stripes across the cup, I also put just little tiny um, runners of the diamond glaze and then just a little bit of glitter so that it would also stand out from the background of that chameleon mica powder that I did for the base. Just about to finish up. Once I had the um, stripes all uh, glittered, I took another small brush and then just brushed the glitter off in between those stripes so that it would be clean uh, and you'd be able to see the chameleon colors um, and the glitter complement each other. And here it is all ready for its first layer of resin. I did cover the glitter with some Craylon uh, clear matte sealer and I'm going to be using Fro Rizzle as my resin. Uh, I started out with just 15 milliliters. Uh, that would be seven and a half of A and seven and a half of B. And I just wanted thin coats on here. This first layer will definitely seal all that glitter in place. And then six hours later, I came back and did another 15 milliliters. And then the next day, I did the same thing. I did um, another 15 milliliters for the third coat 
and I sanded it lightly around the uh, top of the cup and the very base of the cup to, and anywhere that there might be a little bit of the glitter poking through. I didn't ha have to sand hardly at all. And then I put my fourth and final layer of the resin on there. Using a little bit of heat just to make sure I have no bubbles. And that was with my torch. And then we'll let it turn and continue to put our layers of resin on. This would have been the third layer. I didn't try to do every single layer of resin. <laughs> It's just simply putting it on there, making sure you got it smooth, and making sure that your bubbles, uh, if you have any, are popped. And this is how it looks now. I love the sparkle. I love that shimmer of the chameleon mica powders beneath as the base coat. You can see it goes from green to gold to even a little bit of blue or teal color and the copper glitter just makes all of it stand out. Didn't want to go too heavy on the copper because it is a really bright, bright contrasting color. But you can even see a little bit of that copper even in the chameleon uh, mica base. So I love how it turned out. The resin covered it very well. Do not have any places where there's uh, any glitter that is above the last coat of resin. I think it is, it's unusual, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this project. I hope you like this cup. This is an amazing cup. Here's the bottom of it with the straws uh, in the storage area. And then this right here is the brush that comes with it that you can clean the straw. And uh, if you have enjoyed this, please click like and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll get notified when I upload future projects. Everything that I use to make this cup will be listed below in the description box along with the links to where you can get the mic powders and etc. And I want to thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.